All right. I'm muting myself and we're recording. Hi, everybody. Um, my name is Megan Hansen. And for those of you that don't know me, you probably don't, but if you do, um, hi, welcome. Um, so I've been a coach for, I'm coming up on my four year anniversary, which is mind boggling. Um, but I've, I've been at it for a while and, you know, time flies when you're having fun. So whether you are a coach that just joined yesterday, or maybe you've been a coach for two or three years and you're jumping onto this call to get a little bit more info or motivation, welcome. We are glad you're here. Thank you for hopping on. We're going to try to keep this brief so you can continue to work your business with action steps. So I just wanted to, uh, I wish I could do a poll right now just to see who's hopping on and where your emotions are as you're hopping on here because, um, am I still on? Yeah, uh, because some of you may be like, yes, I became a coach yesterday, I am ready to run, give me the info. And some of you may be like, yeah, my coach asked me to hop on here and I don't really, I'm just doing her a favor. And some of you might be like, I am so scared. I don't even know what this means. What are, what are we talking about? Um, no matter where you're at, we're going to give you some information today. Don't be overwhelmed. We're going to keep it super simple, guys, because Emerald Rank, it is simple. You just need to see it as doing the steps and reaping the rewards, okay? So I will just say, again, no matter where you're coming from, welcome, welcome. All right, so um, I'm just gonna dive right into the first benefit to being an Emerald, and, um, and then Lindsay's gonna take it over for there for, for a minute. But being an Emerald is really big, you guys. It's huge, it's the first step in ranking, rank advancement for your business. And it is a way for you to be recognized by your upline coach, okay? You are going to be shouted out, if that's a term. You're, we're gonna give you a shout out on social media about you hitting your first rank. And you know what, guys? When you see something like that on social media, doesn't that might kind of make you look at the person a little bit differently when they've hit a milestone? That's what people are gonna see from you. They're gonna see that, hey, she's actually got some skin in the game in this. It, they're going to um, give you a little bit more credibility. It gives you more credibility to be advancing in your business. And it just really is where um, the, um, the momentum starts, okay? So people start taking notice of you a little bit more and they're like, okay, okay, she's legit. Let me listen in a little bit more. They're going to see that what you bring to the table has some value. Not to say that it didn't before, but you have got, you've just got a little bit more glitter on your, on your resume now, if you, if you want to look at it that way. It's an opportunity for you to really introduce yourself as a leader and a team grower. And I will say this, when I became an Emerald coach, Guys, I, it was about six weeks into my business. Um, I just was told, you know, this is the next step. And um, I wasn't into the idea of building a big team. I really became a coach just because I loved accountability groups and I wanted to do them on my own terms and do them for the people that I love because I had six, such good success with the 21 Day Fix. Um, I wasn't really into the building of the team, but guys, once I became a team and started seeing the benefits that Lindsay is going to talk about with number two and number three, that's when I was like, oh, I get it. I get it. So I'm going to go ahead and turn it back over to you, Lindsay, for a couple more benefits. Awesome. Hi, everyone. Um, my name is Lindsay Gray. For those of you who don't know me, I'm directly under Christina. Um, just to give you a little bit background about me, I am five years into the business, Star Diamond Coach, and I am currently, um, for the last three years, I've been able to be full time with this. So it's been a huge thing for me. And I just want to tell you that if I can give you any 
um, tip on how did she do it? How did she manage to go from where she is now or where she started, which is where all of us start to where she is now, where maybe you want to go or maybe what you want to create, but you're not quite Mm -hmm. sure to get there. And if all of any of you are to be mindset lovers, this is going to be a great analogy for you. I got there two people at a time, two pounds at a time, two people at a time. You continuously are going to be doing these activities to hit Emerald over and over again. Ruby is just Emerald three times. Diamond is just emerald four times. And emerald is simple and emerald is powerful. So um, let's dive into uh, number two and number three. So at emerald rank, you start receiving team cycle bonus. So up until emerald rank, you receive 25% off all of the products. And then you also receive 25% commission on what you sell. When you start receiving team cycle bonuses at emerald rank, and what that team cycle bonus is, is basically you um, earning a residual income off of the volume of lifers that you're creating underneath you. So Megan is a great example of a lifer who got into this because she loved the products, she loved the experiences that she was having, she loved the results, and she just decided, I'm gonna do this forever anyway, let's get the discount and let's pay it forward. And now look at her naturally because of this and some grit, because you gotta have some grit too. Um, Mm -hmm. She's at Star Diamond, right? It really is that residual income of building those lifers underneath you. So one thing I want you to hear is that sometimes when we're pushing for a rank, we get in our heads about, but I don't want to sell and I don't want to push people. And what I want you to hear is that this is about building a community of lifers. So you're educating them and helping them to realize that this is going to be great for them and helping them get results. That's what this is about. And in that, you're going to naturally um, grow that community of lifers. That volume, if you guys don't know exactly what Team Cycle Bonus is and how it breaks down, basically they take 200 points from your strong leg and 100 points from your weak leg, and that's one cycle. And they see how many times they can do that um, with your volume per week, and they pay you off of that. So at Emerald Rank, you get $14 per cycle. At Ruby, you get 16. And at Diamond and above, you get 18. That's all I'm going to go in to it with because right now that's what this call is about. But if you need more information on that, shoot Megan or myself a message. We can get you um, another video on that or reach out to your coach and they can explain that a little bit better. But basically that team cycle bonus is what gives you the ability to we say, I went on vacation and I unplugged for a week and I still got paid. You're still getting paid that income of that volume of what's producing underneath you. Now, some people might say, oh, so that makes it a pyramid scheme. But I just want you to know that pyramid schemes are illegal. And if you don't know how to word that to other people, um, I always just say, it sounds like that, but that's pretty much what everything is, if that's what this is, because it's not the case at all. They're illegal. They, there's no exchange of products in a pyramid scheme and there's no way that anybody can um, advance or make more than the people above them. And that's just, that's just not what we're about at all. In fact, this company was created not as a network marketing company um, in the beginning. It actually was very successful before by selling its solutions and offering it to people. And what happened was they saw another opportunity. Hi. They saw another opportunity to help more people because there was a lack in people following through with the programs in full from home to get results. So they're like, well, what if we created this community of coaches that could help hold people accountable? And so they did that. And then they saw that they were helping these coaches get financial freedom. And that's how all of this spiraled. The best thing you can do when people give you those uh, things about, you know, what is this is educate them. And there's nothing wrong. You're not trying to convince. You're just educating them. And basically, that's, that's what it is. So you are getting Team Cycle bonus, and um, you're taking your business basically from a retail business to a residual business. Number three, you are getting free customer leads and Success Club leads. So Success Club 5 over you get, if you consistently are Emerald rank and above and success club five, you're consistently hitting, then you're getting over a hundred customers given to you a year. Now you're not earning commissions on their first purchase from you. You're getting those free leads and then anything they purchase in, in the future, you're getting commission on, but you're also getting a new relationship to start that already loves the products that are put in your hands that you can reach out to and talk to them. Now, 
Can I say that every single person responds to me? No. In fact, often I get crickets because when I purchase something online, when they send me emails, I don't even look at them. A lot of people don't look at them. So you need to make sure that your, your cat, your title in your, um, in your email that you're sending to them is catchy and in a way that they know it's not something that's spammy, right? It needs to be something like um, just regarding your current Shakeology order or, you know, something that's going to make them look really quick. And then you need to just be you. You need to have the email sound like you would talk. And then what happens is anything that they purchase in the future, you would get commission off of that. I know Megan and I have had great lifers that have come out of free leads as well as coaches and customers and great friends. And the percentage isn't necessarily high, but that doesn't matter. It's something and you really want to make sure that you're reaching out to all of them. So that's a huge, huge bonus in that. Now, if you're hitting Success Club 10 and above and your Emerald rank, then you actually, I just learned this. I didn't know this. I had to ask, <laughs> ask Christina yesterday, but you actually earn commission off of that um, first that first purchase that they made. And I, I didn't know that. So I learned something new every single day. Um, so those are kind of the benefits and the, making sure I'm looking at this. Yep, the benefits of your emerald rank. So now we're going to go into a little bit with Megan on how to achieve it. All right, girls. And I will tell you that a little subject line that has worked for me with free leads is um, your Shakeology mentor or your um, program mentor, because people are like, I could use some help. I could use some leadership. Mentor isn't really a scary word. Coach, they may not understand fully. But let's not jump the gun because the leads come when you become Emerald. So let me tell you how you get that. So like Lindsay said, it's just you plus two. And how, she talked a little bit about right leg and left leg because we are a binary system, okay? How we are built. So all you gotta do is step one, get an active coach on your strong leg or your weak leg, pick one side, and add to it, and we'll tell, you, we'll tell you a little bit about strategy on that in a minute. Well, what is an active coach? An active coach is somebody who pays their $15.95 fee, just like you and I do, and um, has 50 personal volume points per month. And so that could mean a Shakeology order. That could mean, I think Energize is 50 PV. I know Recover is 52 PV. Um, there's lots of combinations of things that you can have um, that make up a personal 50 personal volume points, and that's what's make, what makes a person active. They don't have to be a working coach to be active, okay? Sometimes we use that term, are you an active coach? Like, are you actively working the business? That's not what they have to be. It can be a discount, it, they can be discount coaches, okay? Um, and then so step two is doing the exact same thing on the other leg, okay? So you wanna have an active coach on your strong leg, active coach on your weak leg. Okay. And um, I will tell you that a lot of times when you are building your business, you, we are encouraging you to grab your spouse and get them onto one of your legs. And the reason why that is, is because you want your spouse to be at the tip top of your organization. And why is that? Because you, down the road, you are going to be able to control that account. Okay. And you're going to be able to put coaches under them, and you're going to build volume off of not only your account, but their account as well, okay? So, and that means to more team cycle bonus and more income that is likely going to the same bank account, right? So there's lots of different theories as to why, like which leg to put them on. And you could put them on your strong leg. You can put them on your weak leg. There are lots of different uh, ideas between the, either, both of those. Um, I went ahead and put, to, to start off with, I put my um, husband on my weak leg because your weak leg is the one, the leg that you build solely on your own. Your strong leg, you are getting um, help from your upline for your strong leg. So I put my husband on my weak leg and I build up volume on my weak leg more so I can cycle more. 
and you won't cycle until you become an emerald, okay? So that's why you wanna do it. So just to keep it simple, you're gonna wanna have an active coach on your left leg, on your right leg, and there are benefits to having your spouse on the strong leg as well, but that's a discussion you can have with your coach at another time as you are getting ready to sign those guys up. It, you also, if your coach, if, excuse me, if your spouse is not on board, like really is struggling right now at the idea of being signed up, even though my spouse, he doesn't do anything except work out and drink Shakeology. That's all he does. Um, if you have a, if you don't have, uh, if you have more of a resistant spouse to that, you can sign up your um, friends. You can sign up a, especially a hustler friend, the ones that are like, just go at it with all they got with whatever they're involved in the ones that are super supportive of you and are passionate um, about building a business or creating their own financial freedom those are the people that are kind of nice to seek out um and lindsay i'm a little afraid i'm bugging in on your on your topic but um your parents are also people that you can um, bring in and they're kind of nice too because you can control their account later on as well kind of like you would do with a spouse so um that's just kind of the three kind of people that we kind of think about first as you're building your business so what i did was i signed up my husband and my, one of my friends who joined my very first challenge group and she wanted a discount and I will tell you this too, guys, when I, like I said, I wasn't interested in building a team at the beginning, but I was interested in helping my friends get the best price on a product that they loved. So you can look at it that way as well. It does benefit you to rank advance, but think about the benefits that you're passing on to your people that are already lifers. Okay. She was like, I love this stuff. I'm on it for the long term. Let's go. How can I, how can I um, get a better, get a discount? And that's how it, that's how it all began for me. All right. So I think Lindsay, you're talking about benefits then. Yeah. So we kind of already talked about this, but this is just a little bit of a, vis a visual of hitting success club, which is helping three people a month enroll the same way that you enrolled. Um, helping. Oh my got to plug this in. You unplugged it. You little stinker. Um, helping three people. And then, being an Emerald rank and hitting success club five, it kind of shows you the amount of customers you could get in a three, three months of leads. So this is actually Lindsay Weiss's, um, uh, account and it shows that she had 19 customers. She gets commission on all those future orders. She gets to reach out to them, help them. I love the term that Megan, Megan, I loved what you said about your mentor. That's perfect. I think people would love like respond to that a lot easier. And this is three months of free leads. So it's actually super beneficial. Um, you can see it's not just like one or two here and there. And then as success club 10, when they're hitting, which is helping five people enroll the same way you did, you're, um, she got nine customers that way and commissions starting with that first order. So $340.92 just from hitting success club 10 and being an Emerald rank coach. Now it's a wheel. So there's no, there used to be, you could only get up to five free leads from Shakeology or five free leads from uh, the website programs each month, but they've actually changed it to a wheel where now it's just as many people purchase without purchasing from a coach, it just spits it out to the next person. So you could get up to however many, um, there's really not like a cap, but I would say it's probably between five to 10. I'd say maybe even between four to eight a month is a good, a good, uh, reasonable number to look at. So Megan kind of already talked a little bit about why signing up your spouse, um, is a good, option. I'll just kind of um, go ahead and say this is an example of a coach on our team that she does not really work her husband's account, but she built him to Emerald and how over the years, you can see 2011, 2012, 2013, that number gradually grows and you can imagine what it is now at 2018. So with that, Megan already kind of said, you know, you can control one side of your business, earn a second income. It's ready when they're ready to run with it if they want to. Um, 
And then the only thing I wanted to say, because she already kind of covered this, the only thing I wanted to say is I am an exception where I did put my husband on the strong leg. And the reason was because I was generating so much volume there. I saw an opportunity for a bigger, faster paycheck there. But I will tell you that with my personal coaches, majority of the time, I am also recommending them to go on the weak leg. But it really is situational based on your volume and where you're placed. So you really want someone who understands that to take a look at your organization and help you make that business decision. So, um, Megan, did you have anything else to say about that? I know you kind of already had covered it. So, yes, I'm sorry if I honed in on what you're talking about. Um, no, I think, I think if there is any possibility for you to get your co your spouse on board, um, just really let them know about if, if they are resistant at all, this is an opportunity for you to share your passion and how they would be supporting you in your um, movement forward and something that you are seeing as very important and helpful for other people. Awesome. Okay. So I'm going to kind of just touch on a couple things. Sorry, I'm adjusting myself. I didn't notice that that part was in the video. Um, <laughs> yeah, didn't know you were getting that today. Um, I <laughs> um, so I want to give you guys a little bit now that we've kind of told you that I want to give you a little bit, um, ask you some hard questions because I love hard questions. And if you are someone who wants to be in, be successful in this business, I want to encourage you to get confident enough in what you have to offer and in yourself to be able to be the person that asks other people hard questions because that's what pushes them forward. If you think about it, your best friend, if you were like, oh my gosh, I just ate all this Halloween candy. And she was like, that's okay. It's going to be fine. That wouldn't really help you to push you. It'd be great. And that's fine. But what if she said, you know what? That's fine that you did that. But tomorrow you're not going to do that because you're stronger than this and you have goals. And if you keep doing this, is that, or is it going to get you to where you want? You'd be like, heck yes, Kelly. Thank you for that. I needed that. And you're going to be motivated by that person. That person is something, um, they're more, uh, what about impactful now, right? Asking the hard questions is a good thing. So my first hard question for you is actually, um, the first thing, let me see, what was I going to say? It was about your, oh, this is what it is. Asking your family. Okay. So Megan already kind of talked about the three ways that we want you to make a list. So this is actually your action plan leaving this call is you want to create a list of people that you are going to commit to reaching out to by either within 24 hours or within one week. That's up to you and your coach and your goals. Um, and you're going to commit to reaching out to them and asking them in the ways that we're going to give some examples to, um, join the business, listen to a webinar, a webinar to be a connector for you, those types of things. And so you're going to create a list. And the very first way that you are going to put people's names on that list is you're going to think of your family. And a lot of us feel immediately uh, protective of ourselves and our families when we say that. And what I want to say to you is this. If you were to open up a restaurant and if it was a new coffee shop or if it was a, a vegan cafe or even if it was like a pizza joint, whatever it was, who would the first people be that you invited to come in there, get a discount, try it and give you feedback on what they thought about the place, what it looked like and what it tasted like, what it smelled like and how you were running it? It'd be your family, right? I'd want my parents there. My parents would want to be there. My grandparents would want to be there. They'd want to support me and they'd give me feedback on it. And a lot of times we have a disconnect because this isn't an actual physical building of a business. We have a disconnect of the fact that this is our business too. And we need, we can do that the same way. Can you help him please? Yes. Oh, and please. So you want to be able to reach out to your family and ask them simply, this is how you're going to say it. So I know that you know that this is a part of my life and that this is a business that I'm setting up. And I know that it's kind of probably hard for you to understand because it's not a physical building where I'm, I'm 
you know, doing, running this business, but it is important to me. And I do really want to share it with you. And I'd appreciate, I can't believe I can think right now. I appreciate your feedback. And I'd really love to, um, ask you if you'd be able to either listen to a webinar so you could be a good connector to me for people about what this business is, or even just come on in with a discount, try the products, get a testimony for me to use in the future to help build my business off this ground or off the ground. You don't need to work the business. You don't need to, if you don't love the products, there's a bottom of the bag guarantee. But I know that the people that are going to help me be successful first are people like you. And I just wanted to ask if you'd be willing to do that. One moment. Yes, dear. Um, I just keep going down the night. I don't want it. Okay, could you help him? I'm almost done. Thank you. All right, so that's number one. And so you want to make a list of all of the people in your family that you can do that. Now, I'm going to tell you that it took me a long time to reach out to extended family, but when I did, I was pleasantly surprised. I did have somebody, a few people tell me no. My grandparents, one of my favorite aunts, who I thought for sure was going to say yes, but my cousin and my aunt my other aunt and my brother-in-law and my sister-in-law and my in-laws and my parents, they all said yes. And guess what? They're all still drinking Shakeology and they're all still getting um, results and they don't work the business. My mom does actually, but the rest of it ripple effects into their family, into health. They're off of blood pressure medicine. They're off of their lowered insulin. You guys, there's so much more outside of this that we can um, help them experience. And so just go in with a heart full of that instead of fear. So the other thing that you can do on that list, you're making your list of people that, um, family that you can reach out to. And then just like Megan said, your other list of people, um, your other person would be spouse, like she said. So de decide on that. And then your other person, your people would be your hardworking hustler friends, just like Megan said. So you're going to say to them, I have an awesome opportunity. I know that your personality would take it far. I'm going to the top and I'm looking for someone to go with me. That's how you'd talk to them. Will you just watch this and tell me if you like it or not? Tell me what you think. Tell me what you like best, right? We always want to focus on the positive. So you're going to be reaching out to these family, close friends and family. You're going to be deciding on your spouse enrollment. And if that's a hard one too, like your spouse is like, I just don't know if we can pay another $15.95. It's a really small investment for you to move your business forward and get so much more out of it. So just keep that in mind. Uh, and then a list of your hard working friends. So you're going to have this list. You're going to share it with your coach. You're going to share the date that you are going to have invited all of them by. And on the, then you're going to have a blank piece of paper with you because while you're going through those, whether they say yes or no, you're going to say, awesome. Thank you so much. I know this was a weird conversation for me to start. And I appreciate you being open to just chatting about this with me. Real quick, last question. Is there anyone that pops in your head that you know would kind of be good for this or interested in this? Um, if yes, let me know. I'd love to talk to them. And if no, it's not a big deal. Just simply ask for referrals. You're going to start building your referral list. And then you have this list that you're working off of that you're going to be inviting to um, to hit Emerald in 24 hours or a week or whatever it is that's your goal. Woohoo! Um, so let's see. I think that that is it. Now, before I close out, I just want to say that if there is any piece of advice I can give you with going forward, remember that it is easy. It's only heavy. If you say it is, this is exciting. The, uh, often the same emotions that you feel when you're nervous or scared are the same it's actually the same feeling and the same response your body is having as when you're excited. So if you can just switch your mindset and say, no, I'm not scared. I'm excited because I am right now. I'm actively expanding my business. I'm actively doing what I said I want to do. This is important to me. And this is, this is what I'm going to do. And you're going to be able to do this and then duplicate it week after week with making a new list, setting a new date, making your new referral list, reaching out to them and teaching your team that you will be having how to do the same thing. So with that being said, um, Megan, did you have anything else that you wanted to kind of give as a tip or anything? I don't think so guys, just go into it with excitement and sharing what you love and know that you want to move forward with, with the people who love you back because their support is a way that they can love you back. And, um, you know, all they can say is no, and you can move on to the next person on your list. <laughs>
Awesome. All right, guys. Thanks so much for joining us today. We had a lot of fun and we'll see you. We'll be running these often. So we'll probably, Christina's doing one Monday night. Invite your team, invite your friends um, so that we can all rise up together. And I'm sure Megan and I might be doing another one here in a week or two. So, all right. All right. Bye, guys.